Thank God for another blessed day, and it's another great day for Skibos Gaming. We are here again at this amazing location, and we are about to make our way outside from the grace, from the prayer room, and work our way into this area, the place of the Halleck Tree. And we last time we hit the lower portion, and now we will work this upper area. So, we will uh, get into some real exciting encounters and environment uh, to support this channel. And for more Skibos Gaming, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's get into the game. <coughs> so, we got a bunch of knights here. This guy will explode these... Oh-ho! Just as I said it, right? But the good thing about this sword, eh? You gain a little bit of health each time you kill an enemy. So got these guys here. They hit pretty hard. I hit those uh, with the last. With, um, killed them with a wild <laughs> strike from my sword there. Now, this area is just a lot of. It's a lot to, of. Um, areas here a lot of places to cover and I'm trying to make sure I hit all the areas oh this guy we want to get him right now that up and let's see oh down he goes now I think I need to hop up here how can I get up there there we go it should be an item right up on this root and then down and underneath the bell right there the bell room yeah beautiful sword right there the Quillen's Knight's sword Let's see me to drop there's so many twists and turns to this place I'll just drop here and we got some guys hanging out here he didn't even move okay So we do next. Let's go. As long as you can kill them before they explode these guys then you uh, should be okay ah there's an item here and what we want to do is 
jump this balcony and drop down on the platform below. Here we go. And... We take a leap. Oh, Scarlet Rot got me with a got me with Scarlet Rot damage right now. Okay, that took care of that. And we got a chest. And we got a trophy. We got the final legendary Ashen Remain. So that's the uh, Clairot Knight Finley. And so we can summon our own Rot Knight. Like the one we just killed just now. And he will actually give you uh, a buff of... Um, uh, Sacred Blade or oh, Holy Damage Increase. I think we want to go in the opposite direction. Uh, this jump, I think I'm going to use a quick jump on this. There. And the only way we go now is this way. And we got another surprise waiting here in the chest. Samba Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. So we can beef up another special weapon to plus 10 and max it out and we should have a NPC uh, item here that we will need and that is the seedbed curse seedbed curse as you know will come in handy for uh, the dung eaters quest line so you need those. I think there is another one. Uh, another seed bed curse here somewhere. And I think to get that, let's just drop down. See where we can find that uh, trying to think where it might be. Sit down here. Let's drop down here and see. I'm not sure. Woo! Man! Woo! Man, that's close.
spray a poison miss. Am I rolling heavy? Seems like I am. Not really. Yeah, no, I'm good. I can... Yeah, I'm medium. Medium weight. So we'll save that direction for a bit. We'll go this way. And I'm still looking for that spot where I supposed to jump over the Oh Whoa, man. Got him down. Oh, we got another one here. Okay, so that took care of those guys. Smitting stone there and first let's go this way. And let's check this out over here. Okay, so this look familiar. I think this is where I need to jump over the balcony here. See, that's sacred blade he used right there. Okay, this area looking somewhat familiar. We were here already. Over there, above is where I got the... Uh, McQuillan Night Sword. I think that's it. And this is where we want to try to get the other uh, seed bed curse. Drop down. It should be right in here. After coming out, I don't think we have any other. We can't get by to proceed any further so we'll have to go back to the grace and take a shortcut there it is yeah we got it all right and let's go back to the prayer room <coughs> And let's switch weapon this time. And we let's make it daytime. It's look like it's night out there. Yeah, it is. And let's go with morning. Okay, here we go. So for shortcut, we did most of this area here this first area so we'll drop down for the shortcut
critical hit. Okay. We should go up for this shortcut. Secret Crown Hallam. So we should be good to. I hope I'm going right. Let's kill this. We can use some extra. Go here and take we need to be go up here. Oops, I've been I had a decoy that tricked me right there. Uh, I think we drop Should drop Try to Whoa, how did he get up there? Wow That's impressive Okay I think he just showed me how to get by. All right, and so this is where I need to go. Keep running this way. Drop down. This is where we need to go. This is a continuation. Ballista guy. Pick up the goodie. Get that, and we got a uh, Halic Tree Soldier Ash. So we'll make our way in that area in a bit. Let's see. Let's run this up. Now we need a big jump here. We need to get across to that platform. So let's see here. Do one of my trick jumps. Oh my goodness, I didn't make it. But let's see. You know what? 
I think it still worked out pretty good. Whew, man. Tough night here. Oh my goodness, that's a full heal. I like that one, huh? Definitely made a big mistake fighting him at the uh, Earth Tree Rot guy here. We got a rock. We got another knight on me here. Let's go back in here. Let's see if your shield's stronger than mine. Know your role. 